Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time we're going to be talking about the Frostmaster T300 and the firmware that is used by Frostmaster for the T300 wheel. Um, really wanted to get stuck into the sort of pros and cons of having this firmware with the latest firmware which came out in 2021. Um, I know it seems kind of late that I'm talking about it now but I just want to sort of bring up a couple of points that may you know change your mind about certain things or some things you may have noticed yourself um and yeah obviously the the, the biggest thing is since the Frostmaster has been updated um there's definitely more force feedback the wheel is definitely a lot he heavier you have the new boost feature which is um the one seen right here this boost feature right here um you know gives a lot more force feedback to the wheel but that that problem that i find is actually a lot of the force feedback particularly on acc i'm not talking about other games i'm talking particularly on acc um you get heavier force feedback but is it better is it consistent and i've always felt that the force feedback is actually less consistent with the update it sort of feels kind of weird um the wheel tends to get heavy in places that you're not expecting it and i for one I'm very, very sensitive to how a, a wheel feels. I don't tend to run my wheel heavy. I prefer a light steering wheel. So for me, when I started exiting corners and feeling sort of the, you know, heavy sort of feeling when you're turning the wheel, I really, really noticed it a lot. And I actually ended up going back to a previous um, firmware. I think I tried the 2017 firmware, tried that for a bit wasn't feeling great then i tried the 2018 firmware which is when acc actually came out and i actually prefer the way how the wheel feels now you can definitely feel that the force feedback is not as strong um but you get a lot more consistency with the forces i, I don't feel like there's any sudden jolts of heavy force feedback or anything like that it's a lot more consistent the only down point in using the uh older firmware is if you do have the load cell the Frostmaster load cell pedals your pedals update is via your wheel so the information that feeds to your pedals is via the update that gets sent to your wheel so you won't actually be able to set up the your brake pedal as you would if you was to use the uh, Frostmaster load cell um, little control panel you are not able to adjust how you want your brakes to perform that's the only downside I can find to actually using the older um, firmware. But for me, it feels so much more consistent. And I always sort of felt just, you know, it feels a bit weird. When I look back at videos of me driving on the older sort of firmware, the one I'm on now, which is the 2018 one. And then I look at newer videos around the same track that I've done a couple of hot laps around Kialami and the Bentley. And I'm always having to sort of adjust my car on the exit of the corners with the with the newer um firmware and i that was one of the main things i did realize is when i was exiting corners the first time i tried it i was driving off the track a lot of the time because the wheel would go heavy as i exited the corner but it didn't technically it just didn't make sense where the the force feedback actually came in and it just doesn't feel it just didn't feel right you know it felt like a little bit weird and I know they're trying to do all they can to keep up with Fanatec. Listen, the T300 is an old wheel. It's not Fanatec quality. But I do think Frostmaster could do a lot more with what they have, man. I, I believe they can make the force feedback feel a lot better than it does. It sort of just feels heavy in places and funky in other places. And it's just not, you know, it just doesn't feel fluid for me. Um, it's just a little bit weird. As I said, I much prefer a lighter wheel with a much consistent base of force feedback now I know if you're using the wheel for a long period of time force feedback tends to die out or your wheel tends to you know lose its forces a little bit but still I don't like the sort of jolts of heavy force feedback now and again I just it's just not for me it's not for me I've definitely definitely tried this uh, 2021 firmware which is 34 I believe firmware 34 I've tried it just I don't get on with it. I don't like it. Something about it, I just don't like. Now, what I will say is on Race Room, it feels very good. But I just feel Race Room did have a big force feedback update. And I actually feel Race Room, in some aspects, 
actually feels better than what ACC does on the firmware 34. Raystream has a maybe not the you know the rear of the car you can't feel as much, but the curbs going into corners, tight corners, the, the sort of the feeling you get for the wheel to me feels more consistent than what we actually get in on ACC with that new firmware, which is kind of weird because ACC is a much much newer game, and you know if you know if Raystream can overhaul their force feedback, I would love. I would love for Set of Course of Competition Kunos to come together with Frostmaster and just try and do just try and mesh it together a little bit better. Um because right now you have to say, man, if you're if you're not on a fan of tech at the moment, it kind of is just <laughs> it's just not it's just not kind of it. Like ACC is pretty much just turned towards a fan of tech game, man. Um they're definitely the wheels that work best on the game. Uh, of course, if you're on a Frostmaster, of course, Anatex are very, very expensive and you might not want to fork out, you know, grand or whatever it is for a direct drive wheel. But I believe there is so much more they could do um, for, for the Frostmaster wheels, man. The force feedback, just green Kunos and the, the Frostmaster firmware, the latest firmware just doesn't feel right. I wish I could set my low tail pedals up on the older firmware but unfortunately it allows me to use them but it doesn't allow me to set the brake how i would like it so um it's a bit of a you know, win lose situation but for me guys it's up to you you can try it i'll probably leave a link in the description below for the older firmwares and the newer firmware and you can try it and decide yourself i'm not trying to mess up nobody's wheel or nothing like that but if you've got a t300 um i've seen comments online as well this is not just me saying this i know carl uses the old firmware and it uses old firmware um and i saw um on some forums online where people were saying they're not too sure about the force feedback it just feels a little bit a little bit weird it's not it's not no it's not smooth you know um but yeah just a short video guys something i just wanted you guys to check out and see for yourselves and tell me your experience with the newer firmware compared to the old if you can even remember the old one but um yeah for me personally i went back to the 2018 firmware and I'm not going to lie, I prefer the way how it feels through my arms, okay? But anyway, guys, it's Cryptic TNG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.